Also, I should point out down here on the take up or the back tension arm here. I did put a circ uh, clip in here earlier on, and it was the round type. The one that should go in here is the larger black one. If you leave the smaller one in, it, this arm assembly will come up over it. You've got to have a little bit of a wider one. I'm going to put in the uh, drum mortar now. This actual drum mortar. And I try to avoid touching the uh, drum mortar with my hands. Keep the oil from going onto it. And I'll start by putting a screw in here at this point and another screw in the far side first. That's two of them tightened. And for the third one, this little plastic assembly here has got to go in. And it goes in something like this. Okay, right in there. And it's another small screw, or another black screw goes down there for the drum motor. It holds that in place as well. You can see it there now. The black screw goes in there in the centre of that. What I'm going to do now is put in this load motor. Two screws hold it in place as far as I remember. Yes, two screws. And that goes in there at this particular point here. I should point out. There is a clip at the end back of it, that clip there, and that makes it a little bit awkward to get in. Okay, it's clipped in now, and I'm just going to get two screws in it and get, keep it in place. Very hard to keep it focused uh, in these little tight spots that I'm uh, trying to work in. And this one goes in here. Mm -hmm. Now we got this cassette eject system to go in place. This was damaged, I must point out, uh, by the customer. I straightened out a few pieces and pieces, and I'm going to see how it works now when I get it into uh, its position. Uh, what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to put this into two halves because it's just easier to work with when you have it in two halves. Yeah. Good change the orientation of this. We have a little notch there and another little notch there, like a hinge system that goes into that's one side goes in here and the other side goes into there. I finally got it in. Very hard to show on camera. But they got a clip in, and then 
when you do get the hinge down here in place you have to slot that fella in here you see that wide opening in the chassis that will come out that will that will come out there by pushing it through but we're not going to do that here we got that in okay okay got the deck in and i'm just going to give it a try now to see can i uh, load and unload it now first thing i have to do is press down this deck it's in the in eject mode now at the moment so i've got to take it out the eject mode move a little bit oh you would do this automatically in the camera and that's it fully loaded as you can see let's get a closer look at it I'll try and get a closer look at the loading arms we've got one loading arm there another loading arm here and this guide is actually they're all as you can see they're all secure now in their little notches and against that that's against this stood where it wasn't earlier on now let's try and uh, unload it and that's it ejected i'm just going to leave it in the eject mode now so i can put in this housing here First, I've got to put this bracket on the bottom first. And I did put uh, three markings on the bottom here to know which ones the screws go into. in before I can put in the other part of the cassette housing. Okay. What I have on this here, if I can get in the shot. <laughs> There is a slide system here, and there's a wider notch there. And what I have to do is, on this, it get that slid into it there. And there's another one on the far side. We should be getting this here. That's it there. One side clipped in. Let's 
be the side clip too. And what I have to do now is get this hook into this piece of metal. And then push it forward to the far, same far side. I've got two larger screws on each side there, just to hold it in place. And down this side. Another one down the far side. now is pull it in. It's loaded but uh, well semi-loaded position let's call it. Take it out of the ETF position. Okay. And of course I'm just going to see this out and load up. Load it up fully. This on now and um, feed the load more through it and the clip each side. This clips now. I'm going to stick this connector in here. Slips in there, and then it's another retainer here. Okay, go to the bottom of the board now. And what we have upon here now is the PCB. So, of course we have to make sure we have our wall switch lined up. The wall switch lines up with the markings I put on it earlier on. Right, we should have uh, three screws now to hold this in place. last one has a little washer on it. Yeah. Right, now we're going to start putting these cables in place. Down. 
here. Make sure them clips are out. Similar system underneath this uh, screening can here. That's the output for the heads. And of course, we have our dew sensor here that's got to go in as well. There, I missed that. 